happening. What are we gonna do Steve, if we're gonna Steve, you're yeah. stressing me out. I, I need I need you to chill out with the pacing, Steve. Uh, I can't I can't I can't okay. I can't stop thinking about what just happened right downstairs. I mean What if sit down. Take a breath. I don't I wanna sit down. Breathe, but it, trust me. Breathe in. Wait, we don't have lungs. We're animatronics. It, 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 it's an exercise. It, it just, I don't know, distracting your your brain from everything that wouldn't just down. I can't distract from myself from this whole entire situation. I mean, um, this is just kind of scary. I mean, Ryan's really changed, and then Molten is not like himself, and I don't know. It's all weird. Well, Molten, I don't blame because, uh, you know, I, I think I'd be a little bit peeved as well if my legs got chopped off. But uh, yeah, brain. I don't. I don't like what Brian's getting up to. I don't understand. I mean, I'm opening up the portal right here, and then me almost getting sucked in. I thought I was gonna die. My little toes <laughs> were almost on the portal. Yeah, I. I wasn't meaning to ask about that. What? Um, so, remember Glitch Trap? I, yeah. Okay, so, like, he sort of appeared, like, on stage, and then there was, like, this, like, green, purple aura, like, surrounding the stage, and he was like, ah I'm back, and you're going to suffer, and, uh, watch your back because you have an enemy in your ranks or something like that. And then he threatened Gregory and then Brian got upset and then glitch trap left. And then all of a sudden Brian opened up a portal right there and we were basically flying and getting sucked in, which has never happened before. That was a lot. I know I can only think about you the whole time. Cause I thought I was gonna go poof. Oh. Well, you know, um, about that, um, we talk about me not really being online. I know I didn't really see you. I'm sorry, but I needed some time for myself. Away from everything and everyone. Yeah, I, I can't really blame you for that. Um, it was just a bit of a shock seeing you offline. And not responding to anything or anyone. Yeah, I know. I just... I didn't want to uh, come to you first because maybe I thought maybe you'd be really mad at me and... Maybe you didn't want to talk to me anymore. I know you were really upset. But I don't know. I don't think I could ever really steam mad at you. Really? I mean... Everybody makes mistakes. I know. And the important part is... You could forgave me? I... What? I said Chica forgave me. Remember because I kind of like choked I... him and like was really upset. Yeah. I I mean, the, them forgiving you is an uh, important part. Yeah. But it's also a matter of you learning from your mistakes and making sure that... That never, ever, 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 ever happens again. I know. I'm learning. I'm learning slowly. Now I have to learn how to kill Springtrap. How are we going to kill Springtrap? That's a... Uh, um, uh, what are you guys talking about? Uh, we were talking about our relationship. Yes, because I've been away for a while and Steve's been offline and, uh, you know, we were just uh, catching up, you know. You... okay. So, did you talk to Molten? I did. So, how did everything go? Uh, everything went fine. What'd you guys talk about? That is none of your concern, Steve. That's not going to be a conversation that I have with any of the other animatronics. Uh, secrets. No, more like responsibilities that I need to keep to myself. Ah, responsible secrets. Yeah, responsible secrets. But 
I mean, are you and Molten gonna be okay? Sure, of course we are. I've known Molten for a while now. I'm sure he's gonna turn around his little attitude he has currently going on. Well, that's good news. Very good news. Wish you could turn around your attitude. Want to say that one more time, Foxy? I didn't say nothing. So you're not going to open any more portals anytime soon, right, Brian? <laughs> I can't promise you that. Wait, what? That's, uh... That, that's not uh, boarding well. Not until I can control it fully, I mean. Oh, okay, ah. well, that's good. Makes sense, makes sense. Where did everybody else go? Um, oh, you know. Well, they went upstairs to go play with Gregory. And, to, well, you kind of told him to leave, so... And then me and Foxy kind of wanted to talk to him. Okay, I don't need to know any more details. I'm going to go back downstairs. You two have your romantic ding a ding, whatever. Okay, we will. <gasps> Does that mean he's approving of us dating? You know what? It wasn't a no. Should we go on a date? Like another one? I need to get planning. <gasps> oh, I'm excited! Hey, Foxy! I love you. I love you too. Uh, guys! He said the L word! I can't believe having that conversation with Molten was... something I never thought I would have a conversation with. He's definitely changed, not for who he was before. But maybe Molten has a point. Maybe he has, like, well, I mean, like an idea of, like, what, a, what are you doing here? I said to not talk to me again. Well, I, I'm still you. I mean, listen, uh, maybe we can um, come to more reason. Maybe you don't have to do all of this. Is it really worth it? It's worth it to bring me and Adrian's childhood back why are you even here to talk to me? I just want to give you, like, reason to, well, you know, I guess be you again. What did I say last time? You are weak. You are not someone I need. Why are you like this? Why did you change? Why did I change? You know why I changed? Because people like Molten, people like Springtrap, people like Glitchtrap destroyed me. All these years, even my own family. You can't blame Amiri. I mean, he was just trying to protect you. Protect me by hypnotizing me to believe that my father was really him when it wasn't the whole time. You think that's fair? I mean... Life isn't really fair, but you deal with what you can. No, I don't accept that. I don't accept that one bit. But what are your plans with... I mean, I mean, I don't know what your plans are with Springtrap, but... Working with him, that you don't like him. No one said I had to like them. We just have to be cordial and agree with something that we want to benefit each other. So, I'm going to turn him on. Are you sure that's the greatest thing to do? What is it to you? You're not even doing any of the work. I'm pulling the muscle. Even on? He should be on. I don't know. I... Morning. Morning. So, what's happening? And what do you want? 
Oh, I just wanted to speak to you about something. You sure you want like... to speak to him? No. Stop. Like, I just finished having a conversation with Molten. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. He also doesn't have any legs. Is that you're doing? Or someone helping you? It was a little rabbit's doing, but God knows where they are anymore. Anyways, is there someone else in the room here? Don't talk to him, please. Just listen to No, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to talk uh... to him and have a civilized conversation. I need you to poof away. Okay? I'll be here if you need me. I won't need you. Sorry about that. What are you talking to? Huh? Nothing. Just talking to myself of what I'm going to... Well, forget what I just said. Anyways, I just ha finished talking to Molten. I saw his state of condition. He is not the same. You've definitely done something with him. Bravo, you broke Molten. What are you talking about? I physically broke him, sure. I had some plans for him, but... I think I got something out of it. What traded him off. You did a trade-off. Interesting. Wow. You know, Springtrap, out of all those years, I never thought anybody could change Molten. But you did, finally. Oh... I didn't do anything. Whether it was you or not. Bravo. Bravo. Couldn't have ever done it better myself. Better yourself? Yes. What's that supposed to mean there, Brian? <laughs> Means that I've changed my perspective on things. I'm not the same Brian that you used to know. And I think we've had a conversation like this, but I'm here to make a truce with you. Truce. Work alongside with you. You help me, I help you. <laughs> what could you possibly give me to help you? Name your price. I can make it happen. What is it you want first off? I need information. I need knowledge that you have. Do you recall our little battle at the first pizzeria I owned? When you yeah. were sucked in the portal Oh, drastically by Freddy. <laughs> hard to forget. I know, it is hard to forget. That was such a moment. But what I don't forget about that moment is that you <laughs> accomplished what you wanted to do. You became a human again. Oh, it wasn't easy. A I lot of sacrifices. sacrifices. Exactly. What I'm trying to get at is I need to know the information of how exactly you were able to do that. How or is it that you were able to manipulate the portal into, well, making you human again? How is it that an animatronic suddenly becomes back to his former self as a human? And it got me thinking out of everybody you accomplished that so i need to know how you did it what you did so i can do what i need to do with the portal to bring someone back into a human something tells me you've had a very massive change of heart 
if you're willing to come to me for help. Oh, don't get me wrong. We're still not going to be friends, but <laughs> I would like to have a working relationship. Call it a truce. Call it something that will benefit us both in the end. I know you don't right. like me, and I certainly don't like you, but I'm willing to put that aside to get what I want. And what I want is that information. What I want is someone close to me to become human, to bring back the life that they deserve. Is it now? It is. So out of everything you and I have gone through, I'm sure you did not expect this to happen. Oh, really? No, I didn't expect this one bit, but sure, Brian, consider it a helping hand. Call it business is what you should be calling it. Whatever you want to call it. Anyways, sure, I can help you. And. But. Oh, what is it? I want something in return. Of course. I didn't see it any other way. Now, I'm curious though, what would Springtrap want? I've always questioned wants. that. What do you uh, want? What he wants. What I want. Yes. Is to know why I should help you. Because you'll help me. I can help myself, Brian. So unless you have some things that can help this progress along. I do. You see... Last time that you were able to become a human again, there was one thing that you didn't have that I currently have. Go on. I have the ability to open a portal. Call it portal powers, per se. I have the ability to manipulate the portal to my doing. I don't know how exactly I can do that quite yet, but I'm sure eventually I can figure that out. So... You know... Yes? That little green thing. That portal timer. Yes? What about the portal timer? It was very helpful to me when I needed it. Molten was in charge of that. More or less did the same thing. You think your stuff can be better? <laughs> oh, I know it is. There's something I haven't told you that I haven't told anybody else. The night after we opened the daycare, I went to Freddy Land. I went to the portal room. As I was having a sort of episode, you could say. And you know what I did? What you do? I made the sky of the whole entire park, one big portal. So if I can do that, who knows what else I'm able to do with my powers? Yeah, you're right. Sure, I'll help you. Oh, one fantastic. I wouldn't have seen it any other way. What is this Let's favor? Yes. I want him dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... Oh, finally. Yes. And so do I. You know what this is? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Isn't that how the saying goes? That is how it goes, yes. I want him dead as well. 
More of us is that he's a nuisance. If you want me to help you, I'm gonna need to get out of this cage. I can make that happen, but I'm gonna need some insurance that you won't betray me and I won't betray you. So here's what we're gonna do. For now, you'll stay in here. All right. You will give me some of the information that you have. And once I need the full information, I will let you out so you can give me the full information of how to do what you did. And... Oh, certainly. If you end up betraying me, which I don't want to assume that you would, but if the circumstances come, I have another way of getting the information out of you. Of course it would take a bit, but there's nothing like going inside someone's head to find some information. After all, sure you are an animatronic. So, Technically, I can do what Steve did when he went inside his head and go into yours. But I don't want to do that. I want to work with you. So now tell me, is Springtrap the only thing? Excuse me. Glitch trap, you meant? Glitch trap. Yeah. Sorry, you guys are just too similar. <laughs> yeah, it gets mixed up a lot. But is that the only thing that you want? His death. And if you betray me, well, I'll blow him up. Blow who up? Him. If I betray you, how does that make any sense? How does that help me? Help you? Oh, just some insurance, right? Sure, that's fine with me. I mean, either way, I get what I want. Him being dead. Him. Molten. Ooh. Oh. You really are an idiot even after all these years. No. You just weren't saying your words out loud. Oh, if it's Molten, you can have him all you want. He's definitely... Seriously, not a use of me anymore. I thought I needed him, but I, clearly I don't. <laughs> At all. Oh, we'll see. Oh, we'll definitely see. So? Do we have a deal? Oh, we have our deal in full. Then let's shake on it. You can step out for the moment. Stretch your legs while you have to be in there. It's only for the illusion. Because, well, you know how the other animatronics are. They'll speak about anything. Why do you care about their opinion? I still have to make an appearance, Freddy. Why you might need to make an appearance. Seems like you stopped caring about how they perceive you, buddy. Why does it matter if they hate you just a little bit more? You're right. I don't care. Which is why exactly I have to do this. I can't fully have them see what I... have become. What I've meant to be. But I should have been at the start. <laughs> Not my weak self. Whatever you say. I have to apologize for how I was all those years ago. That Brian uh. was useless. This Brian is useful. Yeah. Yeah, useful. That's a hell of a way to put it. You know, I'm surprised you didn't ask me for something else. Do you think I need it? 
So you're saying you don't need your wife or your kid anymore? To hell with them. Really? Intriguing. I mean, Balor is here at the pizzeria. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things I can say, but I'm pretty sure you're still a choir boy about a lot of it. A choir boy? No. <laughs> oh, I'm far from a choir boy. But listen, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time. If that's what's all you want, your wish is my desire. I'll make a couple things and go from there. Demonstrations and all that, yeah? Perfect. Now tell me, what's the first thing I need to know about how to manipulate the portal? You already figured out how to manipulate it. What you need to learn to do is control it. Then teach me. How it's do I control a it? Process. Especially in your way. Interesting. And don't don't tell me. You already broke off some ties with uh, the legless man in the other room, right? I think the relationship's done. <laughs> he might have been able to help you. Well, but all right. I could always force them to. <laughs> Good luck. He's not always the most cooperative. Oh, I'm sure I can do something about that. Now, continue talking. Mr. Afton. Uh, grab a seat. 